Hi Cancer, this is your November 2020 reading. This is for those of you that are born June 22nd through July 21st, your Sun, Moon, Rising signs. Again for Cancer, November 2020. And this will not resonate with every single Cancer out there. So you take what resonates with you and you can leave the rest. Hope you all are doing well. We're fixing to get a really good storm here. So hopefully I can get this done before the power cuts off. All right, I've been shuffling the cards. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, this one wants to come. That one wants to come. And I dropped one. Oh, goodness. All right. Dropped two, actually. Okay, need three more, please. So we got the Empress creating, birthing a new project, or giving birth. Some of you could be pregnant. Uh, this is something you've worked long and hard at. Um, and you will be, goodness gracious, I'm dropping everything. Hang on just a second. Oh, this is way too many. Can't take them all, sorry. All right, um, something you worked long and hard for, and you're going to be able to uh, really enjoy the benefits of it. You're coming into your own, especially financially. Um, again, it could be a new project. It could be um, something you're nurturing, something you're growing. It could be, you know, a family. You could be pregnant. You could be... Um, joining families, you know, taking on a uh, significant other's child and helping to raise that child. Could be animals. You could have adopted a new fur baby. That's a possibility too. But it's something you've really put a lot of thought and a lot of money and a lot of effort in. And you're very focused on it. But it will definitely pay off for you. It's, it's a beautiful outcome. I mean, that's total bliss. Um, a little bit extravagant, a little bit over the edge, but it's just showing you the possibilities. Very fruitful. Um, very lucrative. So whatever it is that you're trying to give birth to or start a new project, new, there we go, new family. I've got temperance on the bottom in reverse. So it's telling you to be a little more patient than you are about the situation. All right, Cancer, let's see what we have going on. Again, you have the Empress. You are, I would say you're more than thinking. I, I think it's already in the works. This is coming in from your past. It's something you've put a lot of hard work and effort in. And it could be something that you haven't put a lot of hard work and effort in, but you are definitely going to start. You definitely want to make this happen. Again, if it's a baby, you know, you're putting in the, the work that it's going to take. Um, you're very focused on it. It is, you know, the Eight of Pentacles is a, is a doing. You're, you're doing, you're putting in the work, you're putting in the effort. If it's a new business, you're working, you're doing what it takes, you're looking for a building, you're, you know, getting your contract signed. But it's going to be very lucrative for you. You're going to have great abundance from it. And I think it's going to be even beyond what you en envisioned for yourself to have. It's going to go way beyond that. Um, I think, I, I still think it might be a business. If it is a business that you're giving birth to, um, it's going to be very, very, I have a feeling that it's it's going to attract more people than you ever thought. I think it's going to go, it could go globally, could go, you know, it's going to take off. You're, you're just going to be so surprised. And all you're doing is like, and I'm just sitting here doing my thing and... Everybody loves what I'm doing. 
So obstacles you have to overcome. You have to kind of watch your back. Watch uh, maybe people you're working with or working who are working for you um, to make sure that things are done correctly. That they're done fairly. That you know your your T's are crossed and your I's are dotted. And that nobody's, you know, dipping into the till, so to speak, behind your back. Or nobody has um, motives that aren't to your standards. You definitely want to make sure that your people that you have around you are on the up and up. And not greedy and not um, trying to manipulate other people. All right, so, and again, we have, you know, we have the moon in reverse, and this is in reverse, too, and this could have been what you're coming out of. This could have been, you know, people that weren't, the, the, the moon's a deception card, um, shining light into the deception, and if you haven't found it already or have already seen it, you need to pay really close attention to those around you, because it's somebody in your little circle, um, and we've got the full moon uh, that just came, we came out of. So um, this could be that time frame too. So kind of check your books, check your um, ledgers, things that if it is a business, uh, just to make sure that everything's on the up and up. Because this will, the illumination, you'll see it. It'll be seen, but it's in reverse. So it's something that you're really going to have to look for or look into. I, I keep saying to look into. Um, again, if this is a partnership, you have the two of cups. It could be a partnership with um, a business. And if that's the case, then it's going to be very, again, it's going to be very, very lucrative. It's going to be very fulfilling. There's going to be a lot of hard work, but it is going to be very fulfilling. You both are on the same page. You're both even if you have a partner. If this is a relationship, again, it's, it's, you, you both know what you're, you've got going into it. Um, there's going to be no surprises. You've talked about it. You're on the up and up. You both know what you want, what you want to deal with, and um, I'm, I'm still feeling it's a business. But either way, it, it's good either way. Um, there's nothing to worry about for that as long as the communication's there. Um, and then the outcome, you have the, the six of uh, cups in reverse. So maybe don't get too caught up in the emotion of it. Uh, if it's people you're dealing with, if they're family, don't get too emotionally involved with, you have to separate your business from your personal life. And even though it might be family or a partner, it could be, you know, it could be a husband and wife going into a business together, but you have got to separate what is your business and what is your relationship. And you have got to have that clear line drawn in order for this to succeed, which it will succeed, but you have, you have really, you really need to make sure that you discuss things and, um, everything's out in the open. Nothing's hidden. Nothing's in the shadows. Um, everything's in the light and you both agree. And if you have to sign contracts, if it's a marriage and you have to sign a prenup, then that needs to be done, um, in order for, uh, this to take flight and take off. But uh, it's very lucrative, very, again, I have a feeling that whatever you're, if it's a relationship, if it's a child, if it's a business, it's, you're on the right path. You just need to watch those around you and make sure that communication is very much understood for your whole group of people or your, your, your significant other or those that work for you or those that you work for. And not let the emotions in the past or the relationship get in the way of your final outcome and your goal.
All right. And again, have patience. You have to have a little bit more patience. And trust. Don't forget to trust your instincts. I think whatever started here, I think it's very much an, an intuitive um, idea or maybe you had a dream and then this is all coming true and you can't believe it's coming true, but it is. Hmm. That's a good reading. Um, and congratulations on whatever you're starting because it, it is going to take off. You're going to have to let me know what it is. I'm very curious to see what it could be that um, that you all are starting and, and how it goes. Uh, the moon is also a card of Pisces. So it could, if there's a Pisces involved, that could be a possibility. Um, and then temperance is a um, card of Sagittarius, which is on the bottom of the deck. But it's still, if there's a Sagittarius or Pisces in, in this group or that you're working with or concerned about, you know, that's, this is definitely the reading for you. Again, it won't resonate with everybody, but, um, all right, so we are going to see if we have a, uh, any extra insight. Pull another few more cards. Let's see what we got right there. Hmm. No place like home. So this could be, you know, having the pentacles, having so many pentacles. Pentacles are our sign. And you could, you know, this could have some play in it too. And earth is your grounding. It's your home. It's your security. I can't talk. Um, Taurus, Virgo, or Sagittarius. And um, that could be this could be a home-based business that maybe you are branching out in. And again, this this temperance is a Sagittarius card, so that's a double. But it could be a home-based business that you're going to branch out into. Uh, it could be something that you started at home. It could be something you started in your basement that you're going to say, "Hey, we're gonna we're gonna have a shop now. We're gonna have a brick and mortar store." Um, it could be that popular. And that's fine if you need to keep it at home or, you know, start it at home and work your way up. Definitely. And I think your home will be your solace. It's going to be your place um, that you, you need to go to to recharge your batteries, too. I think family is very important to you. And that's going to be uh, something that you need to really pay attention to when this takes off as much as it's going to take off. All right, we're going to see what messages from the animals we've got for you. Animal totem. Yeah, uh, drop me a comment if you are starting a business or you're starting, you know, if it's a relationship or a pregnancy or an adoption even, that you put the hard work and time into. You know, Groundhog, time to let go. Hmm. Time to let go, and he's holding a heart. So this could be to let go of your fears, to let go of um, your thoughts, that may be bringing you down. Again, swords are thoughts. And this could be a lot of what's going on in your head. That you're not good enough. You can't do it. Other people can do it better. You know. Um, but you need to let go of all that. And really take take the leap of faith. And, um, and venture out there. Because it's it's your outcome is. You're very lucrative. Whatever you're doing. It's definitely going to pay off. I'm going to read a little bit about the groundhog. It's 31 and 3 and 1 is 4 and that's a number of stability. So again you have that um, that number and that reference. 
Okay, it says ending leads to new beginnings and death is part of life. So Groundhog Spirit is here to let you know that it's time to accept the natural endings of something that is no longer serving you. We love to hold on to what is familiar, but the new needs, but the new needs space to grow and arrive. It's, goodness gracious. We love to hold on to what is familiar, but the new needs space to arrive so growth can occur. And that is definitely <laughs> your growth in the newness with Empress. When Groundhog Spirit appears, it is a sign there is something in your present situation that you need to let go of so that something new can be born, something that will be far better, that will far better serve you now. When Groundhog sees his shadow, he retreats to his den. So too might you yearn for a little more time to say goodbye and transition into the new. However, change is coming and it is good, so let go of your resistance. Spring brings many blessings and must die and what must die will always be reborn in a new form that will be right for you. Life requires change and detachment. Say farewell to whatever once served you and get ready for something amazingly to take its place. Spirit is already sending it your way. So again, this is the past energy coming into right now. So it is, it's on its way. You've put the hard work in. Um, and I just think it's really going to take you by surprise. And I think what might have to die away is um, maybe a job that you're holding on to. Maybe, you know, you'll be able to put all your eggs in one basket with this project and with this business, um, with this endeavor, whatever's coming in. If, if you are, you know, pregnant or going to adopt or whatever, it may be something that... Um, you'll stay home with. It'll be a change for you. Uh, but it's all for the good. And you have to you have to know that going into it. So you're not, you know, don't be fearful of it. The change is always constant. We're always changing. All right, let's see. We've got a note from the universe. What the universe has to say for you. All right. When otherwise most challenging, love can begin with sympathy right after dessert. Let's do this the universe. Wasn't life a great idea? <laughs> hmm. Interesting card. When otherwise most challenging, love can begin with sympathy right after dessert. Let's do this. Wasn't life a great idea? I just think that that just says not to be taking all of this too seriously, to be lighthearted about it. And don't forget from where you came. Don't forget where you came from. Um, we're going to pull one more if I can find it. And this is uh, a daily guidance. I'm going to shuffle these just a little bit because I haven't been messing with these too much today. There we go. Hmm. All right. It's dream talk. Your subconscious constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams. It's just one of many ways in which your soul and those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate with you through signs, symbols, messages, and more. And that could be very well. This could be something you dreamed up, some thought, like I said, I think I said that earlier about, you know, it could have came to you um, in a dream or, or something you never thought would be possible as possible. So pay attention to your dreams. Keep a journal by your bed if you have to. Um, write down, see what communicates with you. If you see a groundhog. You know, pay attention to it. I don't know if you live in the part of the country that you can see groundhogs, but I, I they're here. So um, I love he's got a little or she's got a little necklace on, on little mala beads. But yeah, um, this could be something you dreamed up. Pay attention to signs and symbols. Um, know that the, the spirits have your back. They're, they're there to work with you through this. And it's going to be very, um, it's going to be life-changing above and beyond your dreams. 
but in a good way. So, thank you for watching. Uh, you can like and subscribe. If you like a private reading, you can email me on the link below. And have a wonderful November. Please stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.